Hey, we have here today another integral from MIT Integration B 2010. This is problem 11. We have the integral from 0 to 1, natural log 1 plus x over 1 plus x squared dx. Okay, I was really liking this one. I think this might be my favorite problem from MIT 2010 anyway. And it's because it's pretty tricky. And I think the key here is going to be the very first step. I think the reason this was difficult is what I'm going to do is we're actually going to try to use a trick substitution. And I don't usually think of that when we have natural log in the expression. Usually when we do a trick substitution, we're looking at um, just a rational expression. Just focusing on the denominator, this is where we're usually going to substitute for tangent. So I'm going to call x equal to tan of t. We'll get our derivative. dx is going to be secant squared t dt. And then also real quick, let's just solve for our t. t is going to be the same thing as inverse tan or arctan of x. So then making our substitution, we'll plug our one in here. Arctan of one is gonna be pi over four. Then arctan at zero is just zero. So then the numerator, we're gonna have natural log one plus tan of t. Then here in the uh, denominator, one plus x squared. Okay, what's that gonna be? That's gonna be one plus x squared is gonna be one plus tan squared t. And then our dx value is gonna be just secant squared t dt. But you may recognize that we have an identity for this thing right here. This is the same thing as secant squared t. So we can actually just cancel this here with this. And so now we just have natural log 1 plus tan t here. And I think that helps quite a bit. This integral, this is not too different than like natural log of tan t or cosine t, some other integrals that I did recently. And so we'll continue just focusing on that. And with that being similar to those other integrals that I did not too long ago, we're gonna do the same kind of thing. We're gonna do a u substitution now, and we're just gonna add these two bounds together. Pi over four plus zero is just pi over four minus t. Then let's um, let's solve for t. So t is gonna be pi over four minus u. We'll get our derivative, so dt is gonna be just minus du. We'll make the substitution. Okay, so I'm plugging pi over four in here. So we're gonna have zero for the upper bound, and we plug zero in we have pi over four here. Then we're gonna have natural log one plus tan. Um, for t, we're gonna plug in this thing though. So we're gonna have pi over four minus u, and then we're gonna have minus du. But then I'm gonna just take this minus sign and use it to flip my bounds. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. And now we have our bounds back to what they were here. And next what I wanna focus on, I just wanna focus on this piece right here. And what we'll use is we'll use the different angle formula for sine in order to clean that up. Okay, so here's the formula we're gonna use over here on the right, and we'll just notice um, our a value is gonna be pi over four, and our b value is gonna be just this u. Let's just work this over here on the side. So we're gonna have tan, just going right here, we're gonna have tan pi over four minus tan of u, and then we're gonna have one plus uh, tan pi over four, and then tan of u. Now the nice thing with that is tan pi over four is just one, okay, and that's just one. So this whole value, so this whole value is going to clean up to just one minus tan u over one plus tan u. So just rewriting this real quick, we're going to have natural log. Then for here we found this value, so we're going to have one minus tan u over one plus tan u. But I made some extra space for this one. I'm going to write this one so that I can get a common denominator. So we're going to write it as one plus tan u over one plus tan u. And then the really nice thing here, when we add these two together, the tans are gonna cancel. One and one is gonna give us a two here. And so that's gonna clean up pretty nice. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna rewrite this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a variable change. Okay, definite integral, we can change the variable to whatever we want because it's area under a curve. The variable name doesn't matter. So what I wanna do is get it back into t so we can uh, work with this expression and kind of combine things so let's just rewrite this. Okay, and from here we're gonna do the trick that we always do in a problem like this. I'm gonna call, we're gonna call this integral here i. This is the same thing as our original integral, okay, i. But all we did is we manipulated it down to here, so this is also i. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one and this one and add them together and we'll have two copies of our integral. So now at this point, now that we have our two copies of our integral, we can use log properties to combine these two and multiply them together. But just notice when we multiply, when we combine these two and multiply this times this, one plus tan t is gonna cancel, and we're gonna be just left with natural log of two. 
So when I rewrite this, I'm just going to bring natural log of 2 as a constant, so we'll bring it out front. And now we're just integrating from 0 to pi over 4 of just dt. Well, now this is going to be really simple. Okay, we have our natural log of 2. Integral of this is just t evaluated from, from 0 to pi over 4. The 0 is just going to be 0. So we're left with for this, this is going to be pi over 4 times natural log of 2. We just need to remember this is two copies of the integral, so I'm going to divide by 2 right here so that we can isolate just one copy of the integral, divide by 2 here. And so our final solution is just going to be pi over 8, natural log 2. That's it. That was a great problem. Hey, thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day.